watch review, I want to go over a watch I've had for many years. This is the Casio ANW330. Let's get right into it. Going over price, you can find this online for around $95. However, just be aware that this model is getting more and more difficult to find. Let's go ahead and do a quick 360 just so we can see what we're dealing with here. Very simple, but I think it's a very good looking watch. You've got the screw down case back, and you'll notice that I do have a steel bracelet. I installed the bracelet myself. It does normally come with just a regular resin band. I just prefer this look better, and I think you'll agree it really does change the overall appearance of the watch completely. For dimensions, measuring from 9 o'clock to the crown, we get just over 47 millimeters and then for case depth we get just over 11 millimeters for those of you curious about the bracelet um, if you want to buy an aftermarket steel bracelet for it uh, around 21 and a half millimeters and you should be just fine now just going over some of the functions and features first and foremost this watch is a chronograph so the large second hand is actually used for your stopwatch and then the minutes are measured on the subdial by 12 o'clock and then the hours are measured by the subdial at 9 o'clock and then the 6 o'clock subdial will be your actual second hand and that's the one that continues to tick all day long. We have a bi-directional rotating bezel here. Uh, it's not a friction bezel but it's not ratcheting but it clicks. I don't know if you can hear that. Just keep in mind it's not very secure, so I would never use it to measure time if you were diving. And I don't even think this watch could really be handled as a dive watch anyways. You do have all the main cardinal bearings of the compass, so north, east, south, and west. And I'm thinking the main purpose of this would be just as a quick reference, you know, you can find out which direction the sun is rising in, set that as um, east, and then, you know, that way you can just move the bezel, you know, just as a general direction. So I think it's a useful tool to have. Better to have it than to not have anything at all. We've got loom applied here on the hour and minute hand, as well as all of the indices, which I'm not going to knock it, but it's not the greatest thing ever. It'll last you about 30 minutes. It's definitely not going to last the entirety of the night. So, you know, for the price range, it's completely expected. And lastly, this watch comes with a mineral crystal, but uh, no screw down crown. It's just a regular push pull crown, unfortunately. And then 10 bar or 100 meters water resistance. So that water resistance paired with just having a push pull crown, I, I wouldn't recommend this for any kind of serious um, water sports. I mean, it'll handle the regular things like showers and washing your hands and swimming in a pool but I would limit it to just that. And then you've also got this fantastic date window right here. I think they did, a, they did a great execution here, better than a lot of other watches that are much more expensive. Here is the wrist shot for you. Me having about an eight inch wrist, I think it fits just fine on mine, but even for those of you with the smaller wrist sizes, like six inches or even smaller than that, you know, I still think it'll look great on your wrist as well. Now just going over some of my personal thoughts. Now there's a reason why I've owned this watch for the better half of a decade. And that is because this is a phenomenal watch. You know, it doesn't have all the fancy bells and whistles like um, solar charging or anything like that. But I think for what it is, which is a very budget friendly, uh, reliable sports watch, it's fantastic. I think it's very good looking. Uh, and it's also just got that fantastic Casio quartz reliability. I think the main selling point, or at least what really gets me, is almost like that sunburst dial. Uh, it's, I, I guess it's not really a sunburst dial, but you can see what I'm talking about. You've got that slight reflection in that you know stainless steel dial and it looks so clean and you pair it with the very simple text al along the bezel and you know you also pair that on top of the very budget friendly price and 
you know, you've got the trifecta of what makes watch collecting so fun. And unfortunately, the AMW 330, from what I understand, is getting more and more difficult to find. I know that you can easily find the black on black model, which actually looks really clean. And I probably am going to get my hands on one um, very soon here. But this one with the silver dial contrasted by the black bezel, that seems to be a little bit more difficult to find, which is unfortunate. And you always see that happen in Casio. You've got these very good looking models such as the MDV 102. Um, just absolutely beautiful, gorgeous models. And then for some reason, they discontinue it. You know, I don't know, maybe maybe that's their business strategy. But um, basically what I'm trying to say is if you can find one of these, I totally recommend getting one. You know, maybe not an investment, but it's just cool. And I, I would regret it if you couldn't get one when they are currently available. So there's really nothing much else I can say. I mean, this is a very positive review. Like I said before, I've had this for the better half of a decade. And that's pretty rare in these days because, you know, I'm, I've been getting into the habit of rotating my watches either through um, selling them or trading them because it's, it just makes the uh, hobby of collecting watches more fun. But the AMW 330, you know, for it being just a very simple, budget-friendly watch, the fact that I will never get rid of this one, um, you know, take that for how you will, but to me that just means that this is an excellent quality and very good looking watch and I highly recommend it to anybody who has the ability and means to get one of their own. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps you with your next watch purchase. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.